What's up, what's up, what's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk. DraftKings and FanDuel NBA DFS for January 7, 2020. All right, January 7, 2020. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and check out the lineup from DK and FD. It's not looking good in DK and my best lineup in FD. I try to do the five cents max. I try to max it out for the first time. I never max anything out. Uh, you have to do 10 teams in the 777 or $7 or 6 dollars But this time I only get three teams there and get 10 teams in the 222 and then max out the... the uh, so my best lineup so far is in the max out of the 5 cents and he has 379 so let's show that to you guys. Chris Paul, 35.6, not bad, but I was still expecting a little more. But it was 6.7, I believe, so not bad. Lonzo Ball, another good pick. Uh, Mark Ray, for some reason, I don't, I, I play him a lot in the five cents, but for some reason, I don't play him much in the, uh, seven dollar or the two twenty two. And, uh, Smart did good. Uh, Giannis, uh, didn't play it like the last six minutes of the game because of the blowout. Hayward, um, he get to 29, so I guess I can't complain because he was really bad. And they only score 94 points against the team that we all like to pick players against. And they didn't do much except for smart that actually do good. I mean, if you, I don't know if you guys realize Washington beat Miami, then they beat Denver. Now they beat, yes, the Boston Celtics. So go figure. Gordon, 29.3, uh, if you're going by salary, you're like, yeah, he did good, but, uh, Young, you guys know, Young was my cheap play. He did really good, even though Lowry ended up playing. So, and then Jokic was the play. If you guys play Jokic, that's really good. So, I had Giannis as my star. He didn't do bad, but when you're comparing, but because of the position, how some, you got Engram, you got Barton, all those guys went off for the lower price, so that's make Giannis not really good. It could have been better to go with Giannis, I mean with Luca, and then go small in the small forward position. So even though it wasn't a bad play, but still would have been better to go with somebody else like Engram or Barton. All right, as far as the guy that's winning right now, he has a. Uh, Pascal. Pascal probably gonna see some minutes because they're losing right now and most likely I can see Pascal play some some of those minutes. Alright, so right now I believe he tie with someone. Oh he, t oh, he tied with himself. So that's really good. He got four teams in there. So that's really good to see that. So well, for him, of course, you know, over 1200 bucks here. So about 12.50, something like that, 25.50. So that's really good. He gonna in five cents end up with 12.50 if he win it. That would be really good for him, and most likely he will win it because uh, unless if there are some people that we are not seeing right now, and uh, and then Pascal probably gonna get some more points here. So let's see, he's 15.5%. Uh, All right, so let's. I mean, yeah, the, that's basically the difference here, you know, the difference is basically, uh, Giannis and Luca. So, and then of course you got Barton and Engram. And I got a word and, you know, Mike gave me about what, uh, 89.4 and he's went over 100, kind of close, but the fact that he paid less for his two than mine, then upgrade to Luca, that's the difference. All right, guys. So even though he got a guy in the power four that only gave him 14.9, I might give him a little bit more because most likely he will see some, a little bit more minutes. And as far as DK, uh, so DK, that's not my lineup. I don't remember I have this guy, so that can't be my lineup. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's one lineup I have. So, Kai Bowman, 14.5, not doing too good. Embed, we all see what happened to Embed. So close to a triple double, but hey, we all see what happened to him. So, that fully, hey, can't complain about that because he basically 
mess up his uh, finger. So smart 31, and he might end up missing a game. He, uh, I took the chance in Bledsoe, but he, that was a bad choice. And Turner 35, not bad at all. So, yeah. Uh, the Spurs game, that's like the second game they played in three days, and both games was in, uh, in San Antonio. The first one was over there, and they lost it. Spurs lost it, and then they won tonight. Anyway, guys, so in the case, not looking too good in FG. I still have a chance to at least when my money back, you have some lineup. If those guys get some minutes in the foot, then that can happen. So as far as this one, I it's 7.50 and running 7.03, so not bad. I might try it again tomorrow for the first time. Uh, for the first time, guys, I went and do uh, optimizer for that. Right? I usually never do that, but if I'm going to try the 150 entries max, then I might do that again. All right, and I'm only going to try to play 25 players. So. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I can win a little bit big compared to having 50, 60 players or something like that. So let's check out my 5.5K players. So for the 5.5K players, guys, uh, Garland, Antilikina, or Antilikina, or Tilikina. Tilikina, 3.4K. We don't know yet if he's going to get the start, but I'm thinking he should be getting the start. And, man, I would want to stay home, get that baby leave, like we used to say in the military. You know, stay home, enjoy that little baby for at least another two or three days before I get back to work. And hoping that's the case here so Tilikin I can get the start here again. Even though it wasn't good last game, and yes, yeah, playing the Lakers, but the price, I wouldn't mind going there. Uh, Cherry as man, uh, that's it. Most likely, I'm going to be playing him. Why? Because uh, Porter Jr., I believe that's his name, he's out for two weeks. And now, uh, I don't know yet what's going to happen with those two guys in uh, the, if one of them going to be missing tomorrow. I'm talking about Love and Thompson. If that's the case, definitely want to play him. Garden, man, this guy, I don't know, man. But the price is not bad, but I don't know if I want to go there. But if you're looking for a point guard, shooting guard, you want that wise, then you can definitely play him. A player I like is Harley Jefferson. They're going to need people to score for them. And right now, to me, it's should him. When I'm looking at him, he look like the guy that's going to be the second scorer for the team. Be, yeah, to me, that's it. Because you are eventually going to be out for this game. So he got to be the second scorer. So to me, they have to either enter him in the starting lineup or I don't know. If they don't do that, they can put them in the starting lineup, not for Van Fleet. They're gonna, you know, or they can put them for Van Fleet. It's depending on what they choose to do. Uh, Robinson 5.3k. If you're looking for a center on that price, then he's a good play. Uh, it's v. I'm gonna say it's V. I cannot say his last name, so I'm gonna say it's V. S V R. Whatever you guys wanna say. That price, the minute he's playing, so I will definitely take a chance on him. And you never know. You might get the news that uh, Drew Mans is not playing because he got traded or is in the trading block or something. Books, uh, 4.9K. Uh, I like him against Minnesota. Hey, that's a team. If you want to shy, you can shy against. And OG, the men's going to be there with all those guys out. So I don't see why not. And I'm the, I like OG. I always like OG. I always ready to take a chance on the guy. All right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, we talk about Tilkina Tig 4.5k. Yes, Tig hasn't been good, but at that price, man, we know he has an upside. He only played 17 minutes, 20, 26. His minutes going down, but uh, I wouldn't mind playing. Tig would be might be get trading to somebody else because he he probably needs to go to a team that's going to the playoff that have a chance to win. That need a point guard, a backup point guard, or something. Uh, Books only talk about him. That's a player like why. That's the one that's probably gonna get the start. Uh, so I definitely like him. 2.6. I will choose him over Antikilina uh, anytime. All right, Tikilina, if he's upside, probably high, but Davis is safe. Crowder. Then if Davis enters the game, then it could become one of another scorer that can do a little bit damage for 
but like, quarter had that great game then bad so i'm going back to him again price went up a little bit but i'm going back to him og all talk about him even cheaper in fd covington 5.5k the price is just too cheap so i will be in covington all talk about the last two guys all right so let's check out my five plays that consists of three core play one cheap and of course the star of the segment so let's go ahead and do that right now all right guys so let's start with my cheap play in fd so my cheap play i'm gonna go with davis all right davis will be my cheap play here and oh i'm talking about terence davis guys yeah terence davis will be my cheap play and uh, like i said man they he probably gonna be entering this starting lineup even if he doesn't I can see him playing in around 30 minutes in this game. He has been playing more games anyway, so. And now that Dentley is going to be out, they don't really have anybody to put in there, so who else are they going to put in there? Is either they put him in the starting lineup or they go to, with RHJ. Regardless, Davis is going to be a guy that's playing a lot of minutes. To me, it's a better player than Macau, so Davis will be my first my cheap play. Let's go with my first score here. Let's check my sheets real quick. So, I'm going to go with Covington here. Covington. The price just not climbing in FG, all right? So, if uh, Town's going to be out, Covington going to be a guy they're going to need. And you know he has been doing his thing. So, and... Let's see, 33, 47, 35. I don't mind any of those. So hopefully, uh, Town's going to be out again and Covington will be a guy I'm looking to play as a core play. And uh, probably going to be very popular too because of his price in FD. And of course, uh, let's go to him. And we don't really have that many choices there. So Kevin Love probably going to play because it's West. And Holmes probably going to be very popular too. That's really a good play. So. Those probably my two favorite play. Uh, Randall has been doing his thing and he's also playing against the Lakers, you know, the team that drafted him. But it's not an easy matchup. And then Davis is Davis. So, all right. So, and uh, RHG definitely a guy I like, but I'm going to go with Covington here as the core play, my first core play. My second core play, guys, I'm going to go with. Thing. All right, here's the thing. When it's come for center, I actually like, uh, I like John. I like Val. I like Adams. Adams was the guy I had first, but I, it's a back-to-backs. Because of that, I would decide to go with Jang here, hoping that Towns is out. So if Towns is playing, and hopefully we'll get the news before the lock on FD at 7, then I will change, then Jang will be I mean, uh, Adams will be the guy I replace him with, all right? So, for right now, I'm going to go with Jane as my second call. And as far as my third call player, oh, Jane, you know, Jane has been doing his, his thing, man. Went over 50-something, this point, about 56. And uh, if you can get us any time over 36, 36 would be six times higher. Between, any time between 35 plus and up, I'll be more than happy with that. He gave you, you see, he got the 49. The men do have a high ceiling. So, Zeng is the guy. And then I'm going to go back with Chris Paul again, man. I'm going back with Chris Paul. Uh, the price is just too good. And the matchup, too. So, I'm going back to Chris Paul. And uh, when I first doing it, let's go to, uh, see, I seen Fox here. I see also a back to back. Then we did back to back. Rubio was the guy I had in there, and Jamo, and I really like all those guys, honestly, but I decided to go with Chris Paul here. Chris Paul is the guy I'm going to go with for my third core play, and as far as my star, I'm going to point guard here, and I'm going to go with Larry. He's the one guy that can score in bunches for that team, so... It, the matchup is a game that they should be able to keep it close. So for that, he's gonna have a guy that he's gonna be a player that play about 40 minutes and probably score 30 real points for them to have a chance. 
So there is a point of the river and ass is probably a block or it's still here and there. So forget about the block. But everything else he can be most likely gonna have some rebound, some assets, and he might even be able to get you 60 here. Uh, I'm not saying you're going to get there, but anything 40 plus, I will take that. All right. So, but actually, I'm going for 50 here. All right. So, Larry will be my star here. Uh, you still have an average of 7.4. You can get the star that you want. Oh, and do more. So, I'll let you the small forward position and the power forward position if you want to go James or Davis here. So let's go to DK. So I would love to play Terence Davis in DK, but the price is too high, so Terence Davis is not gonna be here. So for my first, my cheap play, I'm gonna go. You can pick one of those guys in 5.5k and below, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of them, and that will be uh, uh, Tikalina. Okay, Tikalina, Kili. Oh, I forgot to put the end. All right, so all the talk about him, no need to say anything else. As far as my first call, guys, I'm going to go with uh, RHJ here. One day. Yes, I like him, man. Uh, I know he's coming for, up the bench. Hopefully, we don't know if he's getting the start, but I still like him. To me, between him, Larry, and Davis, most likely him and Larry got to be the guy that can score for that team. And that's what I see here. He's going to be playing a lot of minutes. Should be probably 8, 30 minutes in this game. So uh, at 4.8K, I'm going to go with him as a core play. And then I'm going to go with uh, here, guys. 5.8K, uh, 5. 8K, 5 point, I'm going to show you. So first when I go, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go with uh, Gallinari as a core play. But I decided to go with Carmelo here. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit, but I'm going to go with him against Portland here on uh, the 7 p.m. game. So Carmelo will be my call over Gallinari. So, uh, but I do like Gallo a little bit here too. So that's why at first when I switched to Carmelo. And as far as the third guys, I like, uh, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Larry here. Larry, I really want him to play him as a star. All right, but I'm going to go with him as a core play. I already talked about him. And I'm going to go with Davis as my star. All right, Davis, the price is too good for me not to last two games. Hopefully, he can go ahead and follow this with another 60, 70 fantasy points here. All right, so Davis is my star. And hopefully, like I said, we can get a lot of points on him. You still have 5.566 left. And there's a lot of good chip play that you guys can use to go ahead and finish this lineup. Yep, that's basically it, guys. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification. Please look in the bottom right and you see the little bell. Click on that after you subscribe. So as soon as I drop a video, you guys can receive them. I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. And, uh, oh, by the way, guys, let me know. On the comment section, what do you guys think about what's going on as far as the husband and wife that won the $1 million? Me personally, I don't have any problem with it. All right? That's my opinion. You guys, so I just want to hear your opinion. All right? Anyway, I'm out.